Chapter 2, Yellow Card For Miss Hall's baby shower, Jessica shows up with such a big bunch of flowers from her father's florist shop that you'd swear she ripped a bush out of the ground and wrapped the bottom in foil. Whatever, I don't care. I found a bright card with yellow roses at the store, and a picture of flowers won't dry up in a week. I feel like it's my way of saying I'm sorry for being such a pain all of the time. Max gives his present to Miss Hall. He leans back in his chair with his hands clasped behind his head as she opens it. He's given her diapers. I think he hoped to get a reaction from her and seems disappointed when she's happy. Max likes attention. He also likes parties. Just about every day he asks Miss Hall for a party and today he's finally getting one. When Miss Hall slides my card out of the envelope, she doesn't read it out loud like all the others. She hesitates, and I know she must really love it. And I feel proud, which isn't something I feel very much. Miss Silver leans over to look. I figure I might finally get a compliment for once. But instead, her eyebrows bunch up, and she motions me toward the door. Shay has gotten up to look. She laughs and says, The world gets dumber every time Allie and Nickerson speaks. Shay, sit down, Miss Hall says, but it's too late. You can't make people unhear something. I should be used to this, but it still takes a piece out of me every time. As Shay and Jessica laugh, I remember how we dressed up as our favorite book characters for Halloween last week. I came as Alice in Wonderland from the book my grandpa read to me a ton of times. Shay and her shadow Jessica called me Alice in Blunderland all day. Keisha steps up to Shay and says, why don't you mind your own business for once? I like Keisha. She isn't afraid and I'm afraid of so much. Shay turns looking like she's ready to swat a fly. Like it's your business? She asks. That's right, it's not my business, but it's as much yours as it is mine, Keisha replies. Shay lets out a small gasp. Stop talking to me. Stop being mean, Keisha replies, leaning forward. Max folds his arm and leans forward across his desk. Yes, there's going to be a fight, he says. There isn't going to be a fight, Miss Hall says. Suki is holding one of her small wooden blocks. She has a collection of them that she keeps in a box, and I've seen her take one out when she gets nervous. She's nervous now. Shay glares at Keisha. Keisha is new this year, and I'm surprised she said something. Everyone is all riled up, and I don't even know how this all happened. While Miss Hall tells them both to cool off and points out to Max that it's foolish to root for a fight, Miss Silver waves me toward the door. What the heck is going on? Once we're out in the hallway, I can tell by Miss Silver's face that it's going to be another one of those times when I'll have to say I'm sorry or explain why I've done something. The thing is, I have no idea why I'm even in trouble this time. I stuff my hands in my pockets to keep them from doing something I'll regret. I wish I could put my mouth in there too. I just don't get it, Hallie, she says. You've done other things that have been inappropriate but this is just well different it's not like you it figures I do something nice and she says it isn't like me and I can't understand how buying a card is bad Allie Miss Silver says if you're looking for attention this isn't the way to do it she has that wrong I need attention like a fish needs a snorkel The door swings all the way open, hitting the lockers, and Oliver springs from the room. Allie, he says, I think you gave her that card to tell her you're sorry she has to leave us to go have some dumb baby. She's probably really sad. I feel sorry for her, too. What is he talking about? Oliver, Miss Silver asks, is there a reason you are out here? Yeah, I was going to, um, I I was going to the boys' room, yeah. That's it, and he runs off. Can I just go now, I blurt out, 
feeling like the job of standing here is something I can't do for another second. She shakes her head a bit as she speaks. I just don't get it. Why in the world would you give a pregnant woman a sympathy card? Sympathy card? I think. And I think some more. And then I remember. My mom sends those to people when someone they love dies. My stomach churns, wondering what Miss Hall must have thought. You do know what a sympathy card is, Allie, don't you? I should deny that I know, but I nod because I don't want to have to hear Miss Silver explain it. And besides, she'll think I'm even dumber than I am, if that's possible. Then why would you do such a thing? I stand tall, but everything inside shrinks. The thing is, I feel real bad. I mean, I felt terrible when the neighbor's dog died. Never mind if a baby had died. I just didn't know it was a sad card like that. All I could see were beautiful yellow flowers. And all I could imagine was how happy I was going to make her. But there are piles of reasons I can't tell the absolute truth. Not to her. Not to anyone. No matter how many times I have prayed and worked and hoped... Reading for me is still like trying to make sense of a can of alphabet soup that's been dumped on a plate. I just don't know how other people do it.